Hello YouTube viewers. Well, today I'll be unboxing and assembling a Vax Floormate hard floor cleaner. Not only does the Floormate vacuum your hard floors, it will also wash and dry them and pick up spills. Well, here it is in a very heavy box. It says all in one and this is a bargain. Well, I think it's a bargain. I wasn't going to buy one and I thought, well, I'll get one as a spare because I already have a Maytag floor to floor, which is more or less identical to the floor mate, save the colour. But unfortunately, my floor to floor recently went kaput and it's a, a problem that is quite common because this is the second machine this has happened to. It happened to my mum's floor mate and it's happened to my Maytag floor to floor. And the, what has happened is the brush motor has gone. So to buy a new brush motor and fit it would be cost about £50. This floor mate cost me £57 from Vax brand new. Vax sent me a £50 off voucher because I'm signed up to their newsletter. So I decided to use it on a new floor mate. The voucher entitled me to £50 off any vacuum cleaner 99, over £99.99. Well, this isn't a vacuum cleaner as such, and it actually cost, it was reduced from $149.99 to $99.99. So I couldn't use the voucher, so what I had to do was buy a spare filter for it, uh, for about £8, which brought it over the £100, which meant the voucher was valid. Also, for spending over £100, I got a free Vax handheld vacuum cleaner. Now... I've only been delivered one box, so I'm assuming that Vax have packed the hard floor... Of course they've packed the hard floor washer in here. Uh, I hope they've packed the spare filter and the rechargeable vacuum cleaner. So without any further ado, we'll soon have a look. We'll get this box opened and I'll show you the brief assembly that is required before using your Vax floor mate. Right, so here it is. Without any further ado, We'll unbox it. Now to me it looks like it has been opened and resealed, which means hopefully that my free gift and spare filter has been packed inside with the floor mate. If it hasn't, I'll be emailing Vax and saying where is my doodah. They might be sending it separately. I've got a receipt. The receipt just has the floor mate and the filter on it, nothing about the free uh, handheld vacuum, so we'll see, see if it's in here. That might be coming separately. Right, we've got the instruction book here, which I don't really need to look at. I've owned several floor mates before, so um, there's a two year guarantee. I will be registering that with Vax because the way these fail, <laughs> I think I need it. It's a shame because it's a good machine, but if you look on reviews on Amazon, the motor for the brush does seem to be quite a common thing that goes wrong. But I thought, well, I got it cheap, at least it'll be okay for two years, and anything after that's a bonus. Although really, two years isn't a lot of time, really, to have a vacuum or hard floor washer like this. It doesn't get used as often as a vacuum cleaner, so really it should last more than two years. But anyway, right. Doesn't seem to be any sign of my free handheld, although I am quite surprised. I've just noticed you actually get a full size bottle. No, oh, I'm holding it in the wrong place. I'm going up instead of down. It's because my, my monitor is upside down. Let me just turn it that way. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. So you get a full size floor to floor solution, which is good. Mine's rather dirty, a lot of dust on that, but anyway, that's, that comes with it, so that's worth having. You can use other cleaners in the machine, but I find most of them tend to foam up quite a lot, which can cause problems. Right, what else is in here? This. Obviously, you won't get this with yours unless you do order the spare filter. But inside this bag should be... Again, rather, rather grubby, <laughs> not for 
very good, is it, Vax? I don't know if you can see that, some dirty marks on that. Looks like it needs cleaning before I've even used it. Anyway, that's a spare filter. And the filter just prevents any um, hairs and, and debris from getting into the motor. Obviously, there is one fitted in the machine, but I've got a spare there. Right, let's pull out all this cardboard. It's a lot of it. Now, the first thing with a cardboard that's actually got something in it is this, which will be the nozzle the squeegee nozzle so always check every bit of um, cardboard you take out of this machine that is not a part in it you don't want to be throwing away bits of cardboard with uh, a part of the machine so there we have let's take that out that just protects the squeegee in transit that is the nozzle where the dirty water is sucked up into the tank. Place that to one side for now and I think I can now lift the machine out. So just double check that there's nothing else in the box. Yes because there is. There's this part here. There's so many bits of cardboard you don't know what's what. This part is the spin scrub assembly with counter rotating brushes that is used to uh, agitate the solution on your hard floor. Now I think that's it. So I haven't got my free handheld vacuum cleaner. I'll just go and check when I've done this. I'll check on Vax's website. That it, they probably say it's, it will be sent separately. I'm hoping so. Right, so, we've got the machine itself. There's no assembly as such to do with the machine. The only thing we have to do is attach the spin scrub brushes and the squeegee nozzle. So we'll just take the machine out of the plastic bag. Again, making sure that you discard the plastic bag safely. As you can see the handle is folded, all you need to do is click the handle upright. There's a little bit of um, bubble wrap just on the top here, we just need to remove. And that's it. Let's show you how to assemble the nozzle now. Right, so all we need to do now is Click the spin scrub brushes onto the main head of the machine. So if you see on the underside, we have got a little hole here, a little square hole. Just make sure that you insert this part. As you can see, there is a part here that sticks up. That needs to engage into that hole so that the brushes will actually rotate when you're using the machine. So it's basically a question of pushing it in, lining it up with the hole, just turn the brush if it hasn't gone in until it's gone in and then just press down and it's clicked into position. That's all you have to do. If you need to take this brush off at a later stage, if you need to clean the machine, there are two uh, switches here, levers. You can press those either side and the brush just comes out simply like that. And we'll just reinsert, making sure it's clicked into position like that. Next job, all we have to do is insert the squeegee nozzle. All you do with that is just locate this part. There's a round part here, it needs to go into this part here. So you just put it, offer it to the front of the machine. Make sure these two nozzle release levers 
is one either side, make sure they're out. Then pop the squeegee nozzle on. Should be simple, but uh, there we are. Sque squeegee nozzle on, and then all you do to lock the nozzle in place, you press in the nozzle release buttons like that. And then your machine is more or less ready for use. There may be some extra, yes, there's some tape actually to remove. And just down here, one piece there. And I think there'll be another piece of tape on the other side. Needs to come off like that. And the final little thing we need to do, we've got the flex here, comes in uh, little bundled up piece like that. We've got the, the plug, which will have a protective plastic cover on. Let's remove that. Remove the tie from round the cable. And then on the back of the machine, we've got two hooks. There's a lower hook here. Let's tilt the machine. You can see there's a top hook that rotates. So you just need to wrap the cord loosely, don't over tighten, over tightly wrap it, just loosely wrap the cord around the back of the machine. Quite a good length of cord you get. And then finally, at the end of the cord near the plug, there's this little clip. That just helps you to keep the cord neat if you're carrying the machine. It does move up and down, you can actually clip it to another piece of the cord. So that keeps it all nice and tidy for you. I'll just take you through a little guided tour of the machine. If you want to see this cleaner in action, just search my other videos for Vax Floormate and you'll see another video I've done of my mother's floormate actually showing it washing her kitchen floor. So basically the floor mate works very similar to a carpet washer. In fact, it puts clean detergent and water onto the floor. The spin scrub brushes rotate to agitate the dirt and loosen um, any um, mess you have. And then as you pull the machine back, this squeegee here sucks up the water and it collects in this recovery tank. So you have two tanks. You have the tank here at the top, which is for your cleaning solution and your water. It takes one litre of water mixed with the solution. Now if you're using Vax solution, I think it is about, it's a half one of these. This has got a measure on 30 mil and 60 mil. And if I'm right, I'll just check the dosing on the bottle, on the doo and it's 60 millilitres, uh, 60 mil per litre. So that does mean, yes, I'm right. No, no, it's a full one for this. It's actually a full cap, a full measure per full thing there. Sorry about the dogs barking, I don't know what they're barking at. <sighs> that's Daisy. Right, so that's the clean water. So you just fill that, warm water, the, the correct solution, pop the top back on and then you just click it into place like that. Now you empty the machine quite simply by pressing on here. The whole tank comes off. You just remove the top like that and then you just tip the dirt down, down the toilet or in the sink. And this is the filter on the top that requires periodic uh, rinsing and just drying before you use it again. Like I said, if you want to see the machine in action, you can actually find that in the other video. Just show you up the side, you've got a big dial. You can use the floor mate to dry vacuum your hard floor before washing them. I tend to use another vacuum cleaner for that, but you can use the floor mate. So you just have it in the dry vac mode for dry for vacuuming your floor. When you want to wash the floor, just flick it to wash. 
And if you've got a wet spill or you want to just go over the floor again after washing just to get as much water up as you can, then select wet to pick up. On dry vac, what happens is the nozzle at the bottom is slightly raised off the floor and the spin scrub brushes are stationary. When it's in wash mode, the spin scrub brushes are engaged with the floor and they rotate. And obviously the squeegee uh, is in contact with the floor as well. And in wet pickup, the squeegee is in contact with the floor, but the spin scrub, spin scrub brushes do not rotate. So that's that. And moving on to the top of the machine, you just have your on off switch there and you have your trigger here to release the solution. The back of the machine like seen I showed you you've got the flex storage with a top hook that turns down to release the whole flex in one go and you have this little lever here if you need to store the floor mate in a, in a cupboard with not, not so much height you just press that down and with your other hand you can just lower the handle and it stores in a smaller space for you. You've also got a built-in carry handle here so you can carry the machine with the handle folded or with the handle up, it doesn't really matter. Or if you're wheeling the machine you can just um, pull it back on its rear wheels and just wheel it to the room you want to clean. So I would recommend the floor mate as an option to steam cleaners I do prefer it because you're not having to constantly wash the microfiber pads that you have with steam cleaners and you can actually see the dirt. Obviously the pads get dirty on a steam cleaner but it's quite satisfying when you tip all the dirty water out knowing that you've cleaned your floor only with clean water and solution. That's the main advantage of having a machine like this. You're not swilling around dirty water like you would in the traditional way with a mop and bucket. My proviso is, I've experienced with two cleaners now, the brush motor, which controls the spin scrub brushes, which is located around here, has failed on two of the models I've had, um, and it's failed on other people's as well. If you look on some of the negative reviews on Amazon, a lot of people do say the brush motor has gone. But I've bought this direct from Vax, it is guaranteed for two years, so if it goes wrong, if the brush motor fails within two years, I will expect Vax to repair it or supply a new one. But this is the, you know, it's very latest incarnation. Maybe they have sorted out the problem with the brush motor. I'm not sure. This is slightly different to the floor mate I had before. They have changed the plastic slightly here. That used to be this part here that's located under the bin. Oops, try and take that off. This part here used to be the same colour, used to be the same clear plastic as these parts, but they've just changed it to white. But that's good really because often muck used to get underneath this, the see-through part, and it looked a bit unsightly and I periodically had to unscrew these screws and clean underneath. So I won't need to do that really because I won't be able to see the dirt that uh, does somehow get under there occasionally, you know. Occasionally I like things to look nice But apart from that it seems about the same But for what I paid Basically 50 pounds really because it's on offer currently At the time of making this it's the end of July 2013 Amazon have it for about 123 and currently Vax direct do have it for 99.99 99. So for 99.99 if you've got lots of hard floors to clean I think it's a good machine to use. Like I say, click on my other videos and you'll see this machine in action. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and bye for now.